Hey, my name is Ryan Earnhardt from CreativeSoundLab.tv, where audio recording is an art form. Well, today we're going to be talking about recording some vocal. I have a few different videos planned out for us, and we're going to be kind of breaking up these examples over the next couple of weeks. And I have my uh, friend Jordan Okren coming by, and you know, these are just really cool examples about how to shape and sculpt the sound of vocal. We're not using EQ here. This is just pure microphone technique. So there's some really cool stuff here. I hope it's really helpful to you. Now I do have a free download for you today. It's Microphone Technique for Vocal Recording. It's a really sweet guide that walks you through every step of tone shaping and really sculpting the sound of vocals. Now today we're gonna to be talking about the aiming of the microphone. So we have um, really you know straight at the vocalist. We have aiming it up a little bit and we have aiming the microphone down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is play these examples just real quickly and then I'll explain kind of what's happening and then I'll play them back for you so you can actually hear what I'm listening for. Here's the examples first. It'll be straight on, it'll be aimed up a little bit, and then it'll be aimed down a little bit. The microphone height should be nearly identical in all three examples. Check it out. Oh, the past is gone, oh, yeah. But there's always tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. oh well, there's always tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the past is gone. Oh, yeah. But there's always tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. oh well, there's always tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the past is gone. But there's always tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, there's always tomorrow. No, 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 no. Okay, so what was going on there is if we use just kind of the straight in approach, um, that would be, you could say, the control or kind of the standard. Um, but if you're not happy with that sound, then what we can actually do is we can aim the microphone up to somebody's nose or forehead, and that actually, in a weird way, in kind of a cheesy way, you know, it's almost too easy, but you get more nasal sound out of the mic. And it's really interesting. Uh, not all mics react the same way to this, but I thought this was, this was a cool experiment to really hear how it's actually kind of shaping the mic, almost SM57 kind of like qualities. Uh, then you point the mic down and you're getting more chest sound. So I know that's kind of cheesy, but you know, it really does kind of thicken the vocal sound. Uh, we'll go back and listen to these examples one more time and you can tell me if I'm crazy or not, but I've been doing this for, for a while and it just seems to work. If I'm looking to dial in a little bit more of a cutting um, upper mids, I'll point the mic up a little bit or if it's kind of a nasally thin vocalist, then I'm kind of aiming the mic down to really kind of thicken them up a little bit. Check it out. Oh, the past is gone, oh, yeah. But there's always tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. oh well, there's always tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the past is gone. Oh, yeah. But there's always tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. oh well, there's always tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the past is gone. But there's always tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, there's always tomorrow. No, 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 no. Okay, so let me know what you guys thought of this. I know this was, you know, pretty basic stuff, but I think it's just a good reminder of how, how malleable tone is just by pointing a mic just a little bit differently, even for a vocalist. I know on guitar amp you think, oh yeah, you know, like one inch, two inch this way, it really makes a difference. Uh, but it really can make a difference here too on vocalists. So let me know uh, what your thoughts were. I'll be hanging out in the comments below. Mm -hmm.